Hello and welcome to my camera comparison of the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and the Huawei P60 Pro. It's my first experience with a Sony phone in almost 9 years, with the last one being the Xperia Z3. Obviously a lot has changed in those years, but it's nice to see that Sony still has a quite similar design language. Both phones are almost identically white. Huawei, on the other hand, is changing especially its camera design every time. The Xperia One Mark 5 offers some advantages if you want to take your content creation to the next level. You can for example get this script for your phone with the beautiful name Sony GP VPT 2BT additionally, which I got with my Sony ZV1. To complete your vlogging setup, you can buy an extra external monitor. Like this, you can record yourself with the better cameras on the backside of the phone and still see what's in the frame. These two items will approximately cost you another 300 euros, so keep that in mind. And if you want to be serious about it, you could also attach an external mic. But to have a fair camera comparison, I'll be using mainly the basic camera app on the Sony One Mark V. Some of you might think that's not doing the Sony any justice, but I think the majority of users are really just using the default camera apps and auto modes on the smartphones. So let's get started with some indoor shots of me here, and then we'll take the phones outside. Now I'm shooting in 4K 30 frames per second on both phones using the main lenses. On the Sony, I activated the rear microphones, so it should be clearer when you're listening to me. I hope it does a good job. How do you like the sound on the Huawei P60 Pro? I'm using the standard or the basic camera app on the Sony One Mark V. I'm not using the Video Pro app. This I'll be checking out later when I'm outside. But for now, how do you like this? On this picture, I think the reality of the colors is somewhere in between. The Sony is a bit too warm for me, while the Huawei is a bit too cold for me in the color. Trying to get as close as we can to the subject, using the super macro mode on the Huawei, we can see the Sony can't really do macro photography and the Huawei is doing a really great job. So now I have both phones with me outside here, recording with the front facing cameras, both in 4K for 30 frames per second. As I said before, I'm using the basic mode for video recording. But I would like to take some samples with the Videography Pro app as well. But for starters, we take the basic app. Now I'm recording with the main lenses, both again in 4K with 30 frames per second. So now I'm shooting in 4K with 60 frames per second. This is just possible using the Video Pro app on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. So you can't use a basic app for this. For so their shooting is just possible in 4K with 30 frames per second maximum. Even though the Xperia is probably creating the more appealing picture, the Huawei is more true to life. The Sony One Mark V is oversaturating the colors, making it all look way more vivid than it actually was. Using the ultra white here under the trees, it is kind of reversing the color tones from before, with the Sony now being more accurate and the Huawei creating a too colorful scene. In 
this picture, I think the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V is creating a better photo. The details in the shadow are better. The Huawei is darkening the scene a little bit too much for me. Zooming in on the snail with a 3.5 zoom on both phones, the Huawei is way more detailed, creating the better picture here. And now I'm recording in 4K with 60 frames per second using the front facing cameras. Again, having to use a Video Pro app on the Xperia 1 Mark V. So now I'm again recording with a basic camera app of the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. This time I changed the microphone settings to stereo so that it will record equally from all directions. Let's see how much it will improve my voice now. So now I switch again to the rear microphones on the Sony Xperia 1. Mark 5. Now let's turn around the camera so I can talk directly to the microphone. So which sounds better to you? The one where I had the stereo microphone, the all directional microphone enabled or those are rare, rare ones? Let me know in the comments. Some animals jumping around here. Little squirrels and birds and whatever. Using the 3.5x zoom on this sign, Huawei is again doing the better job. I think at the 10x picture, I moved the Huawei a bit too much, so it came all blurry, so the Sony one is taking the better one than this one. But if we go up to 15.6x zoom, which is a maximum the Sony can do, the Huawei is once again taking the better picture. And just for fun, let's take a side-by-side -side picture of the maximum zoom capabilities of both phones. And here I took some pictures starting from ultra wide going up to 10x. I honestly prefer the ultra wide taken on the Xperia 1 Mark V. I think it offers a more balanced picture here. At 1x again, I feel that the Sony is oversaturating the colors a bit too much. 3.5x Huawei is again the more detailed one, which stays the same at 5.2x and 10x. Taking a selfie with portrait mode of the Huawei and enabling Bookie on the Xperia, which doesn't have a labeled mode like this, I think both are doing a good job at separating myself from the background and both are creating a good portrait selfie. Here somehow the Bookie didn't hit properly on the Sony and the colors are too vivid once again. Trying to take a portrait of this plant here, the Bookie isn't as prominent as when you take a picture of a human. And here just a friendly looking selfie without the portrait mode enabled. Let's again switch to the back of the phone using the ultra wide lens. Sony is taking once again the more appealing picture in my eyes, but Huawei is still staying true to life. With me in the frame though, the colors of the plants come closer on both phones. I used to come here in my childhood with my mother, so it's a special place for me. Using the zoom at 3.5x, 
and at 10x the Huawei is again clearly creating the better picture. let's take a look at some nighttime photos and videos. Starting with some video clips in 4K with 30 frames per second on both phones. In this picture, Huawei has more detail, brightening the shadow around the stone way better than the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5. Using the ultra wide to take this picture here, the Huawei is creating a strange looking, almost oil like painting of the scenery. But Huawei is generally doing a better job at capturing more even without the night mode enabled. Using the night mode here shows that Huawei is capturing even more details than. Recording in 4K, 30 frames per second, using the front facing cameras. Put this one on 1x as well. Sometimes the same setting on both. Now let's walk a little bit towards the light post. Here I took a selfie with a portrait mode, standing in front of a light pole. The Huawei unfortunately isn't as clear as the Xperia here in this instance. Using the screen as a flash, Huawei is again capturing more details and taking the better selfie for me. For this picture, I put the tripod on the ground. Now, having the phones back in my hand, we will try to see how they look zoomed in. At 3.5x, Huawei is capturing more details as seen on the left side of the building, for example. Using the 10x zoom, both phones are producing an equally useless shot. Looking at the shot, you can even make out multiple stars at the sky while the Xperia is fighting hard with noise. Standing in front of another light source, the Huawei is again using the light to capture more details. On this picture, the Xperia 1 Mark 5 is going so crazy on the lens flare that even JJ Abrams would get jealous. 
Here are some pictures from ultra-wide to 3.5x zoom. And another selfie with portrait mode in a well-lit environment. And then I took one more picture with the night mode of the Huawei enabled and was really shocked by the weird result. And this concludes my camera comparison of the Sony One Mark V and the Huawei P60 Pro. My next camera comparison will be between the P60 Pro and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Please subscribe and like this video. And please let me know in the comments which of those two phones from today did you prefer and which one do you think will win between the P60 Pro and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Thank you very much for watching and we will hopefully see you soon.